When we first emerge into the world, when we are young and fresh and open, <laughs> we essentially are ready to receive. We are highly suggestible, right? We are like a blank canvas and everything that's coming in <laughs> comes in with full intensity. We gawk at the world in total amazement. <laughs> but <laughs> To unfold in space and time is to grow up. To grow up is to develop a thick skin. A thick skin so that we can move about the world with some kind of equanimity and agency. For <laughs> without developing a thick skin, we would be constantly overwhelmed. And yet this hunger to be shaken, to be stirred, to be cracked open persists. We allocate it. Sundays at temple or church. One day a week where I will open up and be ready to receive. The truth of the matter is that this desire, <laughs> this desire to be shaken, to be arrested, even if it's once a week, can be exploited. Organized religion has taken advantage of our receptivity to metaphysical experience to manipulate us in doing terrible things, in many cases throughout history. The forces of capitalism and marketing also try to exploit this occasional, occasional suggestibility, whether it's evenings when we are watching television and seeing commercials and deciding, I'll be happy if I buy that product. So I get it, I get it. I get why it makes sense to develop a thick skin because otherwise everybody's trying to sell you some fucking shit to stuff down your throat. But what I'm saying is, moving all those things aside, <laughs> if we could put ourselves into a suggestible state more often with people that we love and in spaces that we trust, we would become acquainted with states of consciousness that are akin to a virginal experiencing of the sensate world, a sense of first sight unencumbered my knowingness, beyond the been there's and done that's of the adult mind, beyond jadedness. And in those sacred spaces, um, the meaningful moments of our lives are born. These become the moments that make final cut. These, becomes the moments, these become the moments that we inadvertently <laughs> end up remembering. And they're like, oh my God, remember when that happened? Um, that moment when I shed my thick skin and we were splashing in the water laughing uncontrollably.